What's up guys, today we are eating at five hidden gems around Denver, Colorado. We're looking to see if we can get some good food in some unsuspecting places. So first up we have breakfast. I'm over at Mr. Biscuits. I wonder what they serve there. Let's go. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm right backed up to a street. Uh, it's not too busy, but uh, it's kind of cool. We're like in the middle of a neighborhood. It's kind of like a shopping area. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's a very homey feel to it. You walk in, it's super small. Honestly, it took maybe 10 minutes to get your food. So they are making everything nice and fresh. So that is uh, good to hear. Obviously, I had to get one of their biscuit sandwiches. And then I also got a cinnamon roll because I'm here. I might as well test a few of their things out. All right, so I like that they give you a little side of their frosting here for that cinnamon roll. Um, it is very warm, so it's a little bit loose. I got my fork here, but I'm actually going to start with the biscuits first because that's obviously what we came here for. I got their egg, bacon, and cheese biscuit. Homemade, obviously. Cheers. That's a nice buttery flaky biscuit. Eggs go perfectly on there. I love the bacon. It is just a little bit dry, so you need some sort of like Cholula or hot sauce to put on the top of it. But a really solid sandwich puts McDonald's to shame. What's really shining through in here is actually the bacon. It's like really smoky, really salty. I go 3.8 out of five on the biscuit sandwich. Probably just needs a little sauce on there or something like that, but not bad and it's only about six bucks. We're doing sweets next, so I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle a little bit of that sauce on top. <laughs> mm, as if it wasn't sweet enough. Now this just apparently came out of the oven. So let's see, is this a top tier cinnamon roll? I mean, she's dripping there. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Oh my God. It's got like a cinnamon glaze on there already. And then you add the actual like cream cheese frosting, whatever it is on top. Wow. <laughs> that is probably one of the better cinnamon rolls I think I've ever had. Like ever. I mean, if you just take a look inside there, you can see how ooey and gooey it is. Love the sauce on there. I mean, this is giving me a sweet tooth for sure, but this is so good I can't help myself. But I probably won't eat all of it. I'll probably stop right around here, but damn, that was good. I go 4.9 out of five. The best cinnamon roll I think I've ever had in my entire life. All right, so my next spot took me over here to Aurora. I'm inside of Mango House, which is kind of like a international food hall. They do have other businesses here as well, but I'm actually stopping at one of the stalls. It's called Jasmine and it's Syrian food. So I'm gonna check it out and see if they have some solid food. Let's go. So we have our meal. So I got their chicken shawarma wrap and it comes with this garlic sauce on the side. This is what I'm most excited about. I absolutely love that like pureed white garlic sauce. Oh, it looks so delicious. I got their hummus. I just love the design that they put on there. He hooked me up with some of their falafel as well because he wants me to try more items. It, w w once people see the camera, they really start just throwing some stuff at you. That. So pro tip, always go with the camera. All right, but let's go ahead and try the hummus first, okay? I wanna get their pita. It's got like a nice crisp on the outside. It's actually very, very thin. So that's pretty interesting. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do a nice dip just like that. I love hummus. It was really smooth. A little flavor on there. They got the olive oil on top. All right, they're falafel. They have like little pucks of these. Let's go ahead and try that. Super crunchy on the outside. I love the texture on there. They're pretty flat because they're like formed in the pucks, but it's still like nice and tender on the inside. So not a bad little uh, falafel puck there. And then we got that sumac on top of it, if you could see. I know sumac is like a Middle Eastern spice, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. So if you know what it is, let me know in the comment section below, what is sumac? But all I know is it's a spice. I don't know what it's made from. These are really, really good. Next up, we have a shawarma wrap, and I can't wait to dip it into the sauce, okay? I'm gonna go a little, a little nuts here. <laughs> mm. so good. The sauce almost reminds me of like garlic mayo, like aioli, uh, but I don't think it's made in the same process, but damn, it's smooth, it's garlicky, it's not overpowering, it's not like a raw garlic flavor, it's just delicious, that's all I could describe it, but it is so creamy. I love the wrap on here as well. It's like got good texture on the outside, but still like nice and fluffy. Chicken's like kind of falling out a little bit, but that's okay. 
I have plenty more places to go, so I think I'm gonna stop myself right here. I could probably finish the entire spread. If you like this video so far, make sure to give it a thumbs up and tell me what's a hidden gem that you know about that you want me to come try. Syrian food, absolutely delicious. The owner, Muhammad, came over, talked to me for a little bit. Great guy, so if you're watching this, shout out to Muhammad. All right, we're just in the thick of it. Off to the next spot, let's go. I just arrived at spot number three, but I just remembered I forgot to rate Jasmine. I would go 3.5 out of five for the whole experience. Solid spot. Definitely need to come back and try some other options. All right, so our next spot is Papusa's Lover. Just love the name of it. It's inside this little strip mall off of Colorado. Pretty small looking place, but I'm excited to get some pupusas. Let's go try them. All right, it's pupusa time. I got their pork and cheese pupusa, and it's about $6, so not too shabby. Uh, we got a little side of slaw with it. Mm, it's definitely acidic oh, and spicy. All right, so we got that pork in there. We got cheese. That looks really good. I don't know why. I think I was expecting this to be a little bit thicker, but I ain't complaining for six bucks. Oh my gosh, so high. Mm. Oh, my first bite, really, really good. Our shell is like made of corn, so it almost tastes like a taco shell. And then it's just like stuffed with cheese, and like a sauce, some chilies, and that pork. So I think the trick is to take a bite of the pupusa and then finish it with the slot. Oh God, I'm gonna burn my tongue. Yeah, the slaw definitely cuts through the fat. Man. Time to try that salsa. The salsa syrup. Uh, nope, hopefully it's not too hot. Interesting, okay. So yeah, it's like a, a salsa, but it's not spicy. I'm not really getting a ton of flavor from it, so that's kind of interesting. I don't know. Let me add a little bit more. Yeah, it's very subtle. I don't think it's habanero, otherwise my mouth would be on fire. It's pretty good. It definitely adds to the pupusa. It gives a little bit of moistness. Mm. I would go 4.2 out of 5. I liked the salsa on the side. I just didn't know if it added a lot to it. But really good job overall. I think I'm going to take this to go because I still have two more spots to get to. All right, so my next spot is called Crown Burger. Now this is a local gem, okay? If you're a local, you know about the spot, but if you're not, you probably don't know. But whatever I do burger spots, people tell me you have to go to Crown Burger. So here I am, gonna try out their very famous pastrami burger, and we're gonna see how good it really is. Let's go. Okay, so we got our burger. It's called the Royal Pastrami because it's got pastrami on there, obviously. Uh, and then we got an order of the onion rings as well. So these two items cost me $16.61. So pretty pricey for a burger and rings. Okay. Yeah. I will say it's a pretty large sized burger. I got the single, so good size for the money. I'll give them that. I like the pastrami. I don't know if they're making it here in house, but on top of the burger, it would seem kind of cool. And Patty's like super, super thin. Uh, so yeah, I, it, it really gives me like old school fast food, like old, old school McDonald's from like the 90s vibes in here. I'm definitely a hidden gem here on Colorado. I don't know if it's the burger or the pastrami, or something's dripping all over my hand. So well, it's nice and juicy, that's for sure. It does have like a, like a thousand on there or something like that. I'd probably go four out of five on this. At the end of the day, it's still a fast food burger, so I just can't see spending nearly $16 on both items. I go look on these rings here. This looks like an epic pile of rings, that's for sure. And then they, they do have like dipping sauce in there. Mm. The rings are legit. Love the breading on there. When you come to Crown Burgers, get a burger, but get the rings. You're gonna pay an arm and leg for it, but really, really good. Mm. I like that the onion doesn't just fall out of the breading like a lot of other places. The rings get a 4.8 out of 5. Again, I just wish the whole meal was just a little bit cheaper. 
All right, we made it to our final destination, and this spot is the very definition of a hole in the wall. This is actually one of my favorite spots in all of Denver, but shh, don't tell anybody, because it is a hidden gem. And this is Garibaldi's Mexican Bistro, and it's attached to a Conoco gas station. Let's go. Mexican food always means Mexican Coke, always. favorite part to any Mexican restaurant is the chips and salsa. Some places aren't giving free chips and salsa anymore and others are charging for refills. So it's getting harder and harder to find Mexican restaurants that just give you chips and salsa and keep on refilling. So 2024 everyone. Good salsa. I always judge a Mexican restaurant by the chips and salsa. It's got a good kick to it. Tickle on the tongue. I like the atmosphere in here. It's definitely something that you would uh, imagine is a restaurant connected to a gas station. Uh, it's small, it's kind of cozy. Like right on the wall, they got like random statues and sombreros. So yeah, pretty cool spot. I've been coming here for a while. Can't wait to get my food. So I ordered the huarache. It was kind of like this large tortilla and then it's topped with refried beans, lettuce, pico de gallo, and then I got al pastor. And then the red salsa is spicy, the green salsa is mild. I might do a little combination of the both. But uh, this is kind of what they're um, known for, right? Like I said, probably some of the most authentic Mexican food in all of Denver. There's definitely some other good spots, but this is one of my favorite spots. Hole in the wall, tin gem. So this is definitely worth having in the video. They also have some of my favorite tacos and breakfast burritos. I foolishly put them at number five, and so I'm pretty full. So I'm just gonna eat a little bit of this, showcase what it's like, but you could come here for almost anything and it's gonna be delicious. All right, so a little squeeze of the lime. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of the green, a little bit of the red, make it Christmas style, right? Yum, 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 yum. Should I try and pick it up like one big thing? I don't think so, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm gonna have to knife and fork this one, but uh, that would be cool. Alright. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah. I don't know what it is, but I've been on like an Al Pastor kick lately. Everywhere I go, it's delicious. But this is next level. You get like all the spices on the pork and then the sweetness from the pineapple. So good. Mm -hmm. I think this is definitely something that you could probably split with like a friend because it's huge and it's about like $15 for this. Easily cut this right down the middle. Affordable food, good quality food, authentic food. I'd probably go 3.8 out of five. One thing I will say is that my lips are burning. That definitely is some spicy salsa. Woo. <laughs> so there you have it everyone. There are five hidden gems that may or may not stay hidden after this video. We'll find out. If you like this video, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I can make more content like this for you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.